Satoyu, thank you for being here. Good morning to everyone. I hope you have rested a lot and I, ho I hope you have enjoyed your Father's Day, okay? In that case, for your parents. So, for today's class, I'm going to present this, uh, I'm going to present this topic, which is this, Unit 5, you know, the name of our unit is The Perfect Beach. And, uh, okay, I'm checking the chat. Wait for me. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, the topic for today is the Unit 5A, The Perfect Beach. I assume everybody heard the uh, the, the track according to this unit, right? So let's begin. Let's continue with this. Vocabulary. So in this case, I want to take time uh, to recall some vocabulary that appear in our reading, remember? So actually, this one is, this is a noun. It's pursuit. Pursuit. So this vocabulary, I, I need your help. So here I have wrote some definitions, some definitions and you can, you can see here. Okay, thank you. Yesterday, happy birthday to Nicole Franco. Okay, excellent. Because yesterday was her birthday. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay, so I, I was telling you that you can see this vocabulary in your book. Okay, so what this mean? What do you guys think? Is the act of following someone or, some, or something to try to catch him, her, or it? Or it's a place where two bonds are connected? The first one, okay, Melissa says the first one. Remember, sometimes I try to, I try to see if you can understand the context. All right. So, what do you guys think, the rest? Please, I need more, more people who participate, who can participate. It's the act of following someone, okay? Abigail says the first one, okay. Let me tell you, for this one, you can use both, I mean, two or three, two of these uh, definitions. For example, for example, okay. Okay, there is an interference. So right now, we can say, is this one, this, this can be applied. The act of following someone, as you said. Yes, some of you said this. And the other one is this one. Is the act of trying to achieve a plan, an activity, or a situation, usually over a long period of time or long-term period. So this can, be, this can be applied for this, all right? just to get the idea about this. I have done this, okay? Now, let's continue, because this is just a small recap about the vocabulary. Okay, guys. Eager, what does mean, what does this, what does this mean, eager? Actually, I wrote down a sentence. You can, you can see it, and also, here, help me match, please, help me match the, the proper definition or the proper word that can describe this, this word as well, eager. What do you guys think? What it comes in your mind when you hear this word? The first one, enthusiastic, avid, enthusiastic, okay. Yes, yeah, some of you are correct, are right. So eager can be avid, enthusiastic, 
And what else? That's all. Being impatient, okay, to do something. Can be. Avid, okay. Yes. Actually, what you have said is enthusiastic. Yes, it could be. Avid too. And keen. Keen is another way to say enthusiastic or energetic, right? Because you are very impatient to do something, as Damian said. Exactly. Ex excellent, guys. So this is the, my example. He is an eager reader for mystery novels. What do you guys think? Is true this... Uh, is true or false, this example? Is part of this, uh, this word? What do you guys think? Is correct? Is false? Okay. Thank you. Yes, definitely. It's true. So we can underline or highlight that is true. Thank you for your participation. Okay, let me erase this and continue with the other one. Thank you guys. Okay, let's move on. Isolate. Well, actually this word, you found it as isolated, right? In past. But isolate, what does this mean? What do you guys think is the proper word? It's from other people, separate, mixed. What do you guys think? Let me know your answers, please. Separate there, yes. Exactly. What else? Is mixed? No, right? Because you said separate. Exactly. Well, actually, it's this one. Separate and from other people. Because, you know, it's something that distinguishes someone or something. So in this case, you decide to move apart. To be alone, probably, or simple. Uh, you only you are looking for someone or a place far away, you know. And the next answer, okay, yes. Thank you, Melissa. So the example says, Paul moved to Montana because he wanted to isolate himself from society. This is a wonderful example because it it gave us the idea that Paul moved to be alone to be isolated, right? To be separate from other people. Exactly. Thank you, guys. I know right now I realized that you read the reading. Excellent. So next, continue, please. Rank. What do you guys think is the suitable word for this one? Status level, segregation, Military position, title, or classify, or classification. It's a status level. Okay. Yes. And what else? Because this word can be applied for other uses as well. Keep in mind that these words can be, uh, can have a huge uh, use. So, you can read all the answers, all the, all the possible options. Yes, definitely, exactly. It also is, it also, it's a military position. So, just to identify it, it could be status, status level and a military position as well, as some of you have said, and classify as well. It, it, it is part of classification. So it's a wonderful uh, word because you can use it a lot. Okay, my example said, Nicholas has the rank of major in this city. So, you know, major is a person who rules a society or a municipality or city hall or a person who is in charge to rule a city. It could be San Salvador City, Soyapango City. Some people say Soya City, right? <laughs> it's a good example. Another one, Lydia ranks Johnny Depp above Brad Pitt. So these are famous people. Johnny Depp, 
Lydia so probably is an unknown wo woman and Brad Pitt is very famous for you. So this word ranks, it's saying to us that she is probably in the top, she ranks, right? So she's better than Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt. So this word, you can use it for this, to classify, right? Okay, just to get an idea. Let's continue, guys. Okay, remember, this is part of your homework. I am going to make a little reminder, which is this. Please don't forget to send me that before you read part, because this is part of your homework, your weekly homework, remember. Okay? So this was just a reminder. Let's move on. Okay, guys. In this case, I need, I need you to open your book on page 78. Page 78, please. And right now we are doing the reading comprehension part. Please look for that page and let me know when you are there. The reading comprehension, please. Number one, what, what, what is the best uh, answer? Letter A, letter B, or letter C? What, what is the reading mainly about? This question you will, fi you will find for most of, most of uh, for most readings, because these people are asking you if you have understood the reading, right? What is the best word? Okay, let me, I'm reading your answers. Letter C. Okay, let me see. Yes, excellent, it's letter C. Number one is letter C. Excellent, guys. In that case, it's letter C. Please, underline or circle in your books. Number two, what is the purpose of paragraph four? In this case, they are giving us the, the exact, the, the accurate, accurate line 22. Is to describe, uh, to describe, to explain, to describe, or letter D, to give information of Bahia's cultural background. What do you guys think is the best answer? Uh -huh, I'm reading your answers. Letter D. Yes, it's letter D. Number two is letter D, guys. Please underline or circle this answer. Letter D to give information on Bahia's cultural background. So remember, this story was located in Brazil. So that's why they use this word kind of similar in Spanish, right? Because the original word is bay, or by, is by, yes. So, number three, in line 40, 45, the word legendary could be replaced with, what do you guys think? A, B, C, or D? We are talking about number three. Okay, let me check the chat. Okay, Andrea Guzman says A, D, Tenia, okay. Maybe letter A. Mm -hmm. Please read it carefully. In line 45, the word legendary could be replaced with, we just want to make sure, okay? In this case, guys, okay, it's letter D as well. Legendary. It's not isolated, no. Neither uh, picturesque. No, it's famous. Again, it's letter D. Okay, let, let me underline it. It's letter D. Okay. You can underline your answers, your books, and to continue. Okay, next part. Always in reading comprehension, page 78, okay? 
In this case, which of these beaches is the most isolated? Okay, think about this. Copacabana, Praina, letter C or letter D. Remember, this visitor went to different beaches and he found special beaches because he was looking for something special here. Okay, we are talking about number four. Okay, let me check that chat. Letter C. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Are you sure it's letter C, number four? Letter B. Okay. Okay, let me tell you again. Number four is talking about letter D. Maceo, right? He's talking about Maceo. It's the beach, one of the beaches. It's letter D, exactly. Thank you. In this case, it's repeated. The letter D is repeated. All right. Okay. Number five, the island of Fernando of Nor Norona. What? Is letter A, letter B, C, or D? Okay, I'm checking your answers. Letter B, okay, some of you said letter B or letter D. Okay, think about this. In this case, we can classify in line 77. Please look for line 77. You will find the answer. Yes, okay, got it. Abigail says letter B. Fabi, yes, okay, Andrea, letter B, yes. In this case, number five is letter B, our na a national park. Yes, wonderful. Okay, let's continue. Let me erase this. All right. And the last part of reading comprehension, page 78, in, specifically in line 81, the best one refers to letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D. The collection of Fernando's beaches, Praia, the Leao, the Pell, Blue Water, or the Marine Life. Number six. Okay. I'm checking your answers, please. Think, think it carefully. Okay, some of you say letter B. Others B, A, aha. Uh -huh. Letter C, I mean, answer no, number six is yes. In that case, you are right, it's letter B. Number six is letter B. Okay, underline, please. It's letter B. All right. Wonderful, guys. Number seven. Which type of beach will probably appeal the, the author the most? Author the most. BC near a city or letter B warm, isolate, isolated, trendy with a distinctive or D. Number seven. Okay, let me, let me check the chat. Okay, some of you say letter B. Okay. Okay, let me check. Ada Aleman is asking what was the answer of number two, three, and five. Okay, let me tell you, Ada, just to recap. Number two was letter D, D, D as a daddy, right? Daddy or day. Number three was letter D as well, as a day, D as a day. And number five was B as a book, okay? And 
Coming back to number seven, number seven is letter B as well. Yes, it's this one. Okay, guys. Wonderful, no problem. You are welcome. Okay, guys, let's continue. In this part, you will, you will find the skill, right? I assume everybody read the skill, it, which is summarizing a writer's point of view. The, an author's point of view refers to his or her beliefs. So in this case, it can vary. So the, uh, the, uh, the, author, the author, sorry, can have many, many options, many beliefs, many guesses, many ideas, many perspectives according to what he thinks, what she thinks. So in this case, what we have to do is only take out, right? Take out is extract the main idea. Okay, Melissa, sorry. The number, number, se number seven was letter B as a book, okay? The answer was B, B. Okay, so I was telling you, and this for this uh, skill, you have many options, but you have to concentrate or to be focused on uh, the writer's point of view, the, ma the main point of view. Because for this one, uh, I think the, the name of the, uh, uh, this, this reading was Stanley. So for this person, for this man, he was looking for something special. Different beaches, you know, because he wanted to do something special. And, and uh, he found different beaches. And he liked others and he disliked others too. All right. So an author may have one strong and clear position. So be focused on this. Probably the author may have one strong and clear position. So you need to look for this position, what he thinks, what is, he, what is his guess, what is his beliefs, or may have conflicting views of the same issue. An author may clearly state how or he or she feels. So in this case, he's talking about how he feels, right? Because he was looking for a special beach and he disappointed with some beaches because he didn't find he didn't find on them that he was looking for okay so for this part remember this is part of your homework on your weekly homework please send it to me this page when you get it when you have completed all right we need to continue with the with the next pages the next slides okay let's focus on vocabulary practice page 80 Please, uh, as you know, the instruction says, completion, complete the information with the correct words from the box, as you know. So help me, number one. In this case, write a six wife for a year on a tropical island. How many women do you think will answer this ad? A 24-year-old British woman named Lucy, Lucy Irving, did the opportunity to survive in, what do you guys think is the best? Okay, let me see the chat. What do you guys think is the number one? Okay, Melissa says it's eager. Is she right? We're talking about the, the vocabulary practice. Vocabulary practice. Okay, let me, let me tell you. In this case, number one is isolated. This case is isolated. Please, underline or match. This case is isolated. Number one, please write it in your books. Number two, place provided her with the what? 
destina destination, prohibited, eager. What do you guys think? Ultimate. Okay, I'm reading your answers, please. Yes, Fernanda, you are right. Number two is ultimate. Exactly, it's this one. Number two, ultimate. Exactly, thank you. Okay, to continue the reading. Dial was from a writer and adventurer named Gerald Keenline. As an adventurer herself, Irving was prohibited, eager, pursuit, ultimate, no, right, destination. Number three. Okay, yes, it's that one. Thank you. It's eager. In this case, he was eager. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I made a mistake. Number three is eager. Sorry. Number three is eager. Okay, number four. Who has number four, guys, please? Try to live in on, a, on an empty tropical island. There were other ap applicants. In number four. Okay, Abigail says it's pursuit. Yes, you are right. Congratulations. Thank you, Fernanda. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, is number four. Pursuit in this case. And number five. Who has number five, guys? Five. Yes, I know. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you for that reminder. Okay, let's see. Number five. Yeah, exactly. It's desti destination. In that case, it's destination. Thank you, Abby. Number five is destination. I'm just I'm just matching because here. Uh, throw Zoom is, is very difficult to write, you know. Okay, let's move on. Let's see the other slide. Part B is the last part, page 80. So complete the information with the correct words from the box, the same instruction. Okay, so what is the number one? As living there, was the inhibited, uh huh. Okay, let me see the chat. Deep, diverse, magnificent, prohibit. Okay, so yes, prohibited in that case is simple past. Yes, prohibited. Thank you. Number two, at first sight, the island looked like paradise with, with white beaches, with white beaches lined with palm trees and clear blue water. However, their experience was soon, what is the, what is the best word for this, in this case? Okay, we need to finish with this. Okay, let me see your answers, guys, please. Okay. Spoil. Okay, prohibited, inefficient. What do you guys think, please? I need more people who participate. So in that case, you are right, Melissa. And it's the first one, in Abby. Yes, it's, pro, it's spoiled. In that case, number two is spoiled. In simple past, it's this one. Add the simple past, remember, ED at the end for this word when you write it. Okay. Okay, to carry on, I think this is the last one. Part two, page 80 as well. Number three. Uh, the words that we have 
What do you guys think? Is the best word? Prohibited, no, right? Destination, magnificent, spoil, rank, diverse. All right, yes. In that case, number three, are you sure? Think about, it's talking about classifying. So what is the, the best word for this, in this case? Think about, yes, it's rank. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem, Melissa, okay. And number three is rank in simple pass. Is ED, please add ED at the end. Just going to write the initial word. Rank and at the end, please add ED, simple past. Number four, right, guys. Attracting highest of their list of survival needs. Force the, the payer to set up camp on a less attractive part of the island. Also, there are conflicting opinions on a, what? Okay, in this case, you are right, it's diverse. Yes, thank you, Melissa. In this case, it's diverse. Please, write, diverse. Okay, who has number five, guys? Please, I need more people who participate. I'm reading your answers. If not, that means you are sleepy, please, wake up. Number five, okay. Abby says that is magnificent. Yes. Thank you, Daniel. In that case. Okay, it's magnificent. Yes, number five is magnificent. Okay, guys. Remember, I'm just talking at the at the beginning of the class. I told you some of the definitions and examples about the vocabulary that we used for today's class. So remember, this presentation will be shared with you in the group of WhatsApp, okay? Let me see. If you don't have any questions, please let me know in the chat. It, it is understandable that the skill, do you think the skill is difficult for today's class? Remember, for this skill, you need to be very focused on what's the writer's opinion. What is the strongest belief or the strongest idea about what is he writing? So we need to be, in simple words, curious to look the better idea, to look for a better idea. Okay, thank you, Melissa. Okay, guys. If you don't have any questions, the time is almost over, but let me tell you, thank you for your participation. I hope this, uh, this class can be, has been useful for you. And see you in next class. Please have a, have a great day, a wonderful day. God bless you, keep praying please. And I hope to see you until next class. Thank you guys for your participation. God bless you. I miss you all. Have a, have a nice day. Take care. Please. Be good boys and good girls with your parents. Okay, guys. See you around. God bless you. See you.